We can sit around in the alternative media and we can moan about the fact that listings in Google are constantly being manipulated through algorithms, or we can do something about it. Hello, and tonight's headlines. The Iconic Media Group is a genuine alternative. I never fully switch off. It's almost like having the radio on in the background. <laughs> what is the reaction to that from within the industry? Well, I hide a lot. Hello, welcome to Real Education with Lana. However, we want to grow this into being one of the biggest independent platforms, if not the biggest independent platform in the world. I brought in Max Egan to talk about it. Mr. Egan, no need for introductions, but I've done it anyway. Say hello to Iconic. And welcome to the very first episode of Amanda's Secret Chamber. I felt it, I know what pain feels like. It's horrible to suffer mentally because everything's here. It's just done here. This gives the strong impression that we know what we're talking about. I want to make, I want to, I want to leave this world having made the biggest difference I can. A genuine alternative that will cast a light on subjects that the mainstream media, and to be fair, large swathes of the alternative media, either can't or won't. So, there was a, um, a story this week. Um, say it's a sad story, but, you know, when you, when you grasp the nature of life, the nature of reality, you know, death doesn't have to be a sad story. It's just a moving on. It's just a end of an experience in this reality, a very brief experience. And, uh, and then withdrawing to explore infinity forever. Uh, but it relates to David Bellamy. David Bellamy is a, a very famous um, botanist. Years ago, he was very, very famous because he was um, a television presenter of environmental and nature programs. And he had a, a unique style. He had a unique voice and he had a unique style of presentation. Um, and why I say it, it's sad it's not that he's gone, because for the reasons I've just said, you know, he was uh, 86 uh, and um, he lost his wife, I think, two years ago. Um, and, you know, it's an experience and then it ends. The sad part is the way he was treated and for why. David Bellamy was an, an honest man who spoke his mind. And he, at the peak of his career as a television presenter of nature and environmental programs, made or was guilty of, according to the climate cult, the ultimate sin of saying that human-caused climate change is, quote, poppycock which of course it is. It's a hoax to justify the centralization of power in the world to save the world from climate change, which is not being caused by human activity um, in any way that is catastrophic or ever will be. Um, and it, just as a, an aside, um, the parties that in their manifesto in this UK election was so strident about we will fight climate change by all these laws and things and money and whatever. They were the ones that did real badly, including the Labour Party, the Liberal Democrats. Um, the Greens didn't make any um, ground at all uh, because more and more people are realizing that it is a hoax and it's not actually happening. And David Bellamy said this a long time ago in, in um, 2004, uh, describing human caused climate change as uh, poppycock. And uh, from the moment he did, 
the BBC and ITV as well, the so-called independent station in Britain, um, they dropped him. Uh, because you don't blaspheme against the religion of uh, climate change caused by humans, because if you do, um, you're challenging the agenda for the centralization of power in the world. Even if you know you're not challenging that agenda, you think you're just challenging the nonsense of climate change, you're challenging that agenda. And as a result of that, you have to go, especially if you are a credible environmentalist who is speaking against the orthodoxy of the religion. So um, good on you, David Bellamy. Honest man who spoke the truth, which of course is a crime in the world today. And of course, in the same week, this is such a kind of symbolistic uh, synchronicity. In the same week that an honest man, David Bellamy, uh, died, a man who challenged climate change and had his um, career destroyed in television as a result, we have Greta Thunberg, the 16-year-old named as the Time Magazine 2019 Person of the Year, becoming the youngest ever recipient of the title. If there was a prediction you could put your house on this year, it would be that Greta Thunberg would be named Times Person of the Year. Because while David Bellamy was speaking the truth and being honest, but challenging the orthodoxy, therefore his TV career is destroyed, this young girl, Greta Thunberg, who has been promoted by the elite, she's just a puppet, um, to uh, be a symbol, particularly for the young, of the climate change hoax and school strikes, because the climate cult has worked to terrify young people and children about the fact that they're the world's going to end in their lifetime. It's disgusting. It's child abuse. People in jail for less. Um, because she's the symbol of the climate change hoax, instead of having her career destroyed, she is promoted to hell all over the world. And it's, it's like um, Al Gore. You know, Al Gore with... Um, a personal climate or carbon footprint the size of Godzilla, um, who um, told an absolutely pack of lies in the Orwellian inversion named An Inconvenient Truth, he was given um, not only the Nobel Peace Prize with his uh, jokers at the um, in, uh, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, which for in that period and for a long time was run not by a climate scientist, but by a railway engineer. Um, and he also um, won Gore um, an Oscar. And you see, it all falls into place when you realise that this cult that dictates world events, has its um, web into all these things. Um, I'm not saying it decides who wins every Oscar or who wins every Nobel Prize of every kind. What I'm saying is if, if it wants someone in particular to win a certain prize or Oscar, they will win it. Where it, it, they think it would advance their agenda. So you win an Oscar for doing a uh, backside licking uh, alleged documentary about uh, the white helmets in Syria, who are uh, an offshoot of terrorists, in fact, are terrorists in many ways, um, and certainly support uh, terrorists. Um, so it's all a scam. 
And so someone like um, Greta Thunberg was always going to win Times Person of the Year because the web, the cult web, controls Time magazine. It's it's so um, simple. And um, it's uh, it's so transparent. So uh, we'll be interested to see where Greta Thunberg goes in 2020. But, you know, this is something else. You know, I mentioned there when I was talking about the election that um, people, the general population and those that control the microphones uh, and spew out their wokeness on social media those two groups of people one massive and one relatively small by comparison do not have the same views and attitudes so while um people uh, are bombarded with climate change propaganda through the media and the activists and the politicians and so on much of the general population doesn't buy it at all. That's why we're going to save the world from climate change parties did so badly in um, in this election. You'd think they would be, never mind Brexit, we've got to save the world. Well, people didn't think that. Um, and it's the same with Greta Thunberg. You know, she's lauded as this um, almost Mother Teresa type character. When she obviously has a lot of problems and not least uh, exploitation being at, at the top of them. Um, and uh, she's kind of this almost religious figure, this big painting of her in San Francisco, looking out over San Francisco, looking down um, in, um, you know, like some school mom. But the general public perception of Greta Thunberg is not like that at all. They are um, sick and tired of being lectured by a 16-year-old that clearly doesn't know what she's talking about. That's why she's never questioned. She, or, you know, believe the science, look at the science. Okay, Greta, well, tell us about the science. And, and I've got a few follow-up questions, by the way. Oh, no, no, no. That's why she's never asked about the science. It's all a scam. It's all propaganda. Anyway, what a uh, a juxtaposition of happenings this week with her time person of the year for for propaganda and um, David Bellamy dying, who had his TV career destroyed for telling the truth.